Evan, their, their rebound and advantage, especially on the offensive glass, in your mind, what did that just come down to? <clears throat> it was a few bad bounces our way. Um, sometimes we got two contesting the ball on the jump shot, and then that, that leaves the glass vulnerable. Um, but it, it wasn't a lack of effort, I don't feel like. Uh, I feel like we did a great job initially on them defensively, stopping the ball, stopping penetration, you know, Duncan Robinson not getting open for threes. I think we emphasized that. Um, but, you know, they got second chance. They got second shots at the rim after, you know, the initial stop. But overall, our physicality on defense was there. This is an, another test very early in this season, as we talked about after the last game. After this one, what's your big takeaway from it? Outside of the rebound and advantage that they had, what's another big takeaway from this one in this early test? I uh, like how we playing defense the last couple of games. You know what I'm saying? I like where our defense is trending. I don't like where our offense is going. We, I'm not, oh, I'll take that back. I feel like we generating good shots. We just um, not knocking them down. And so if we continue to generate good shots, we'll put ourselves in good position. But defensively, outside of the rebounding, I think we were in front of them all night. Kevin, uh, just seems like PJ and you seem to have a lot of those battles going back and forth. I know you guys are, are good friends, but is there ever kind of like a moment on the floor where you guys, I don't know, just get tired of seeing each other like that? Absolutely not. Um, no. Those are the battles that we all like to see. I know. Tonight, tonight when, you, when you look at the shooting percentage, uh, how much do you attribute that to either their physicality or just to you guys missing shots that you might ordinarily hit? I mean, from what I can remember, they were doing a lot of, especially in the ISO situations, they were um, showing a lot of bodies towards James and myself. And when we kicked it, we got a lot of stuff on that backside. A lot of shots just didn't fall for us tonight. But I think we got a lot of open looks there, a lot of driving lanes. Uh, so they want to initially play physical and, you know, shock you with the switches and the jumps and the, the people in the paint. But once you slow down, get to the rim, drive, closeouts, I think we got what we wanted. Um, it's just a matter of us knocking it down. I know uh, roster-wise, this doesn't really profile like a, a great, rebounding team but I mean Steve was talking about not necessarily a matter of physicality or even positioning but just guys kind of leaking out you know getting ready to get up court on offense rather than crash as a team I mean does that speak to a did you see that and B does that kind of speak to more of a team mentality on how you guys are gonna have to get out of this get out of what the rebounding issue protecting the offensive club yeah I mean Every game, you got to be conscious of offensive rebounds and boxing out and finishing a possession. And, you know, uh, that's how teams uh, feel like they can beat us because we got a lot of offense and we, we move the ball pretty well. Uh, and we got a solid defense. So, you know, if you can get second chance points, and that's the key. I mean, pretty much to, for every team, if you can create more possessions than your opponents, then it's always good. So we got to. Be conscious of boxing out and helping each other, gang rebounding, and then getting out and going. Kevin Joe Harris set the franchise record for three pointers made tonight. Having played with him for a year now, what have you seen from him as, as a teammate and a guy who's kind of made himself into a player who could lead the league in shooting and set that record? Yeah, he wants to be good. He wants to. He wants to be a <clears throat> impactful player every day, and that shows in his work ethic and his attention to detail. And, we're all growing as individuals and as players, and Joe has grown so far since his UVA days and Cleveland Cavalier days. And once he came here, um, they worked with him so much to the point that he understood who he was as a player and he started to, you know, grow within that role. And you know, it's one of those things where you see it in the in the stats. So to lead the franchise in three point makes is an amazing accomplishment for somebody from I don't know what town, Washington. Uh, but I'm happy for him. <laughs> Last one now. I think it's Lake something Joe's from. <laughs> yeah, I'm sorry, Joe. <laughs> Just 
You talked about the, the rebounding margin they had in you guys at second chance points, but you guys were still, you know, it was one possession game, five, six minutes left. Did you chalk it up to the defense keeping you guys in there, or was there something else you guys tapped into there? Most definitely is the defense. Um, you know, that's what kept us in the game for sure. Uh, we was able to get stops, uh, timely stops when we needed to get back into the game. Um, we forced them to shoot over top of us, shoot bad shots. And I think that's attributed to a lot of the rebounders, too. We sh Tyler Hero came in and shot a lot of tough shots over us and a lot of long rebounds and it's a lot of 50-50 balls. And so, I mean, I think, I, I think we play extremely hard. I can't. I know the stat sheet may say and the offensive rebound is means you got out, you know, they were more physical, but a lot of those were, you know, tips, tips, us playing physical and they happen to get the ball. But I think our intentions were great. Um, no more victories. We definitely want to win, but it's always a process. Um, you know, when you're trying to be, become a contender and championship team. So we keep building, keep building from here.